at my first video about my mystery trailer track where they look at the melody and the choir and now we listen to piano and percussion. But at first let's listen to the whole track. Let's listen to all the pianos. And we start with this piano effect. Coming from Spitfire Audio Albion, I guess, Locrea. And next, we've got two different pianos. We start the Grandeur. And we've got this piano by Spitfire Audio Albion. So let's listen to the dry version. And add more reverb. And then we have a look at the grandeur. So let's listen to the dry version and without the effects. So it's very dry. At first, I added the L3 just to get more volume. So it doesn't work. Let's listen to it. So it's just getting louder, but uh, the limiter is not working. Next, we do a little bit compression and I like to use the blue version of the CLL76 because it's a little bit harder. And I wanted to have the sound softer, so I added the envelope shaper by Steinberg. And I really love this stock plugin. So here is the attack. Normally it's, I guess, here you can rise the attack, but I wanted to slow the attack down so it's softer. And I turn the length more to this. And at last, I reduce some frequencies with the Pro Q by FabFilter. And now we add some reverb. And when I add both pianos and they are playing the same, I get the attack from the 
Albion One Piano and the Soft Real Sound by the Grandeur by Native Instruments. And at this part, the Grandeur is playing a tremolo. Let's listen to the main part. And it's funny because it sounds like four on the floor, but it is not. Let's add the percussion. Did you get it? We don't have four on the floor. We've got a six four beat. So at mystery, suspense, action, it's always good to use another than four on the floor. Here I used six four. You can use seven eight or five eight or something like this. And now just the piano and the click. And now we listen to the grandeur, the hard version. And I start with a normal chord. It's a open G chord. So um, it's a power chord. And after this, you can see I add some keys. And here are some wrong keys, some tension notes. And it always differs in some small things. Just a few small changes. Next is a effects piano by Albion. This piano articulation in Albion 1 is great because I just need to play one key and then it plays a whole cluster chord. But instead of using this patch, I can use my own hands to create cluster chords. And the next piano gives a little bit character. It's the Evil Pianox by Heaviosities Evolve. So it's really hard and it's always great to add this to the grandeur. Let's move to the percussions. I start very soft with the celesta. This Celesta is coming from the first VSL Special Edition, so old by gold. And I added the Altiverb because this is the dry version. Too dry and I didn't want to add reverb, I wanted to add room. So at first the dry version and then the wet. So it's more in the background and sounds more mysterious. Let's listen to all the other percussions.
I start with the bass drum from Cineperk Cine Samples. Then we have one hit by LA Drama Drums by Audio Bro. Next, a hard timpani roll. And this is coming from the library, the timpani by Orchestral Tools. I love this timpani. It sounds different to the library Cineperk Cine samples. In Cineperk, the timpani is very boomy, has a lot of room. Sometimes this is great and sometimes I prefer this one. So this is not boomy. It has more attack and sometimes you can hear this timpani better. And it all goes to this one big hit. Now we get to the first main part. So the first main rhythm is this one. Here we've got Buckets by Hans Zimmer, Percussion Professional. And we've got Elite Percussion. So we've got the buckets here. And the snare drum. And next we've got the Haversity Ensemble Metals and there's one patch I really love Ensemble Metals menu because here you've got access to all of the sounds in one patch. And this little part here plays the same rhythm or doubles the piano, the effect piano, this one. At this little part of the cluster chords. Let's play the eight north and the ensemble metals menu together. And next we've got the epic toms, but just a few times. You can see here they are just coming twice. Let's listen to them at solo. That's it. And next we've got the bass drum by Apocalypse Percussion Elements from Sound Iron. And it's giving just a few accents. And I really love this library by Sound Iron. You can get two versions. So the full version is $99 and it works with the contact player. So this is great. And you've got the smaller version, Apocalypse Percussion Micro, just $39. And it sounds as great as this big version. I don't know what's the difference, but I guess you can find it out. And we've got more accents by the timpani from the Castle Tools. Now it's not the hard timpani, it's the normal single hit timpani. And before I repeat the beat, there happen two things. At first, I get this cymbal riser. And I got this little fill in by the Ensemble's Metals menu. And for getting more variation, I added a few accents. And when it repeats, I add a few more percussion elements.
Here are some hard punches or hard hits. Then we have a little metal beat. And let's have a look at the plugins. So without the plugins. So I wanted to have a little bit more decapitator. So here I brightened up the sound. Next, I use uh, the sausage fattener, I guess. I use it not very often. And now it was getting too loud. So I used the limiter just for turning down the volume. So instead of this, I could have chosen the frequency of Fairfield Approach or 3 or another plugin that has um, an output knob. So let's listen to it unprocessed and then processed. Okay, next we've got some metal hits. So let's add the hard hits. Next, the 8 bit beat. And we've got metals or tambourine or some mix. Okay, let's hear all the percussion together. At the end, I added this punch sound. And here are some effects. The dry version. So at first I added the free soft tube saturator. Next the radiator. And you see I didn't do anything because we've got a hot or hot input. <laughs> and here I've raised up a little bit travel and at last a little bit Valhalla room. And here is a little sound. It's a little bit spooky. Not really spooky, but somebody's talking left, right. Then we add the symbol, the rising symbol or tremolo, crescendo. And what I really love in the Cine sample Cine perk sounds, you can write the sound for the mod wheel. This was the second part and in the third part we have a look at the woodwinds and the strings. So when you like this video please give me a thumb up would make me very happy and when you get some more questions or suggestions just leave a comment. And when do you would like to look into this project now you can get this project at my shop. It's a no end project but you can load this one into Cubase because Cubase can load NPR files. These are no end files and when you're working at another door you can work with a MIDI file. And please appreciate that I couldn't include all the audio files because they are all from third party developers. The link is in the description. See you the next time. Bye.